The idea with Valley of the Ancients was really to prove out that we could create a very high quality sample project using Unreal Engine 5's early access features. We brought in Aaron Sims Creative because it has an amazing history of creating iconic movie creatures. And ASC is used to developing and creating and concepting film quality assets. We wanted them to conceptualize an incredible creature. We knew they would take it to the next level. We weren't gonna get characters that are just kind of running the mill. We're gonna get something that is going to push the system and going to push the tools. And they came up with the Ancient One. So it was really our job to design, create, animate this character and engine. In the design process, a lot of times we'll start in 2D. Then we will use like ZBrush or something like that to sculpt it, build it. Traditionally, to get it in engine, you may have to actually think about simplifying it. So to be able to bring it in using Nanite, a high poly detailed character that wasn't relying on normal maps or displacement maps, but it was actually geo. In the end, we found that there was almost no limit to what we could actually create. Working with ASC was a fantastic experience. They were fully integrated into our team. So we had their rigor, their animator, the developers all working at the same time together, improving both the tools and the project. One of our challenges and excitements for this project was actually rigging and animating an engine. Now in Unreal Engine 5, you can animate your assets directly in the engine using tools that you would expect to use as an animator. Pose libraries, selection sets, a natural curve editor, and control rig, our in-engine rigging system. It's the underlying rigging system for the MetaHuman rig. This creature is over 50 million triangles. It's layers and layers of rigs driving every bit. The incredible part is we are still able to animate this character at full real time. Our animators on this project only were directly inside of Engine and that was it. And that was incredible because your animators and your riggers and your asset team and your look dev team were all in the same place working on the same asset in the same way. When one person changes something, it updates for the rest of them. That collaborative workflow completely changed the entire project. We were still updating models and design stuff, you know, a week before final, and we could. The effects were going before the model was done. So it was really cool that we could art direct the hand laser beam and make that as cool as we wanted it to be and work on the animation at the same time. And then you can just see them together magically. When it came down to interacting with the chaos destruction team, we were able to tweak the animation of the ancient one so it would really show off the chaos destruction in the best light possible. And that was an iteration speed we couldn't achieve around tripping to an external tool. As an artist that's been in the industry for so many years, I really have never found a tool that's excited me this much. And what's powerful about it is one person can create characters, worlds, light them, animate them, bring them to life all in real time. And that's a game changer for us.